Hey, wait, wait. Before we say anything, <laughs> I had something to bring up because there was a clip going on oh, yeah. of Connor in the cage, Phoenix. I believe in the third round, telling him, listen to this. He tells Khabib. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's, what do you say? It's only business? Or yeah, what? it's hard to hear, but, but what we're listening it. for, they're, they're, they're clinched up. And this is when Khabib is complaining. It's at the end of the third round when Khabib is complaining that Connor was grabbing the gloves or whatever. And they're kind of next to each other. Herb Dean steps in to separate them. And you hear Connor say, it's only business. And it's hard to hear what Khabib yeah. says after. Oh, no, they have it. They well, have the I, like I looked at a lot of the criticism online, which is why I brought up the do you think he's overrated thing? Because as soon as someone loses, fans are like, oh, they were overrated. No, but watch. I'm but, sorry. Go ahead, Phoenix. But a lot of the criticism was about some of the fouls, too. Oh, well, fine. And that yeah. was the one thing that I did pay a little bit of attention to. Yeah, that was fucked up. Now, watch this. <laughs> okay. So, so he can't complete yeah. the takedown. He keeps complaining about the play. 15 minutes in the books. Well, we it's only the business. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear yeah. I mean, it's well, quick. I'll leave it because then he says. Yeah, yeah, well. Leave it. 15 minutes in the books. We head to the championship rounds. Grabbing. Hey, guess so. That's what he says. Huh. So, what do you take out of that, gang? I don't know if he was talking about I'm grabbing the gloves and it's only business, no. or if he was talking about the way I've been treating you is only business. Right. It's an it's an interesting thing because why at that point in the fight? You know what I mean? Yeah. The, why right there when he's talking about why? the gloves? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not going to be going. It's not going his way. Right. Maybe he feels he's getting tired. Well, but the second true for sure that could probably be it. But it's like the second round was the one that went worse than the third round. I thought. Right. What was there? A, were they clinched up like that up in the second round where he could say that? He's not saying that when he's right. in the of getting an ass beating. He's saying right. it where it's like almost like hey, uh, dude, that. Yeah, Look, why say it there? That is, is so this is, weird. This is the deal. This is the deal. Like, I can understand after the you know fight. What the, you know what the deal is? This is the deal. I'll tell you what the deal is. The cage, the ring, is the truth. Okay, now let me explain what that means. The post, the, the pre-fight, um, all those press conferences, uh, you know, that the antics with the bus, with your whole gang of people yeah. inviting the guy out, throwing shit, and, you know, acting really saying really really terrible things things that are cr i feel that cross the line mm -hmm. about somebody's father about his father or religion whatever i mean things that are somebody holds sacred now by do you doing that on all those situations you know nobody's gonna get their hands on you i mean it's it's if something happens it's somebody's getting arrested or if something if, even if he got out of that bus how soon is that going to get broken up you think they could be fighting all night now yeah so, so it's it's all it's uh, so a, a real person could see all through all that now they're locked in a cage right okay yeah now the opportunity now they're locked to fight in a cage. is right now there. if you want to talk that shit about somebody's father about somebody's religion about anything and you're you're locked up and you're like hey man it's all business really it's all business now that I can get my hands on you. Now you want me. Now you want to make sure. Now you want to play. Hey man, this is only business, really. Now we're all cool. You called my father certain things that you made. Uh, are you now? You, you threw a dolly at it. Now what is that? What does that fucking show? What does that show? That that's what does that do? That shows that you're a madman. Now's the time to be the listen. Now's the time to be the madman. Not whatever happened. I understand. I understand that you're uh, the past. The, the 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 McGregor clan they they were the name was banished from King whoever dude I don't give a <laughs> fuck about any of that I give a fuck about what happens right now in the cage what are you gonna say to him what are you gonna say to him face now you're face to face you're in the thick of battle say something about his daddy say something say right. something to him you're not saying it what are you saying it's all business okay that, I'll, I'll leave it at that I'm not even saying anything else. I, you take from I, that what you I take don't, from that. I don't even have a retort because what? I don't have to. You, you I, to I agree with you. Hey, man, I'm not even, I'm not saying, hey, take from that what you want to take from that. No, I agree. I Is agree. that the same guy that people are looking up to, like that's on the stage saying all these nasty things, getting up? Dana's got to stand. If Dana's not in between him, well, what is he going to do? He's going to get him. No, he's not. No, I'm fucking right. no, but right? I understand. I mean, Listen, I understand yeah. there's the entertainment. I understand. And that's fine. That's fucking fine. Grab Jose Aldo's belt out of his thing. That's fine. When you cross a line and you talk about people's family, you're making it something different. And I don't give a fuck. Well, the, it's still against the law. Oh, good. I don't give a fuck about that. You're making it something different. You're taking it to a different place. You get what you deserve. Anyway, let's get the back to positive shit. 
talk to me about yeah so phoenix is making it uncomfortable no i i can't i, I get listen i totally get it i i would want to you look so smart today too. why do you look smarter because i'm wearing my nerdy glasses oh, i have no choice i knew it was something look have, we've, all, we've all had a person at work that we've wanted to smack the shit out of every <laughs> single one of us has had that person yeah but he's got a black belt so i can't but you can't <laughs> <laughs> give it clap 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 that's yes. what chris listen to me Chris the that producer. Was that was good. Chris the producer. That was perfect. Again. Uh, Thank you. The guy wants to, he, he just told everybody he wants to smack me. <laughs> and I don't blame you, dude. I don't blame uh, you. I'm about to, no, thank God this is not three days a week. It, it yeah. would be awful. <laughs> All right? Because I can hardly take myself. But uh, listen to me. I heard there's some, there's some rumblings about some gossip. Yeah. Well, the first thing, this is good news. This What's is that? This is official well, it's news. cool. It's cool news. It's cool. DC versus Derek Lewis, UFC 230, Saturday, November 3rd, MSG. Is that real? Right here that in our backyard. Wait, it is, is that confirmed. real? Yes. It's weird to me because Derek Lewis, the last thing he said was, I need to sit my ass down and do some cardio. I'm not ready for the champ. And then all of a sudden, this was announced. So I was like, oh, interesting. Wow. wow. Maybe he's taking your advice, Matt. Sarah. opportunity. Let me get on the Wait treadmill. Wait a second. I don't know, but Wait, it's there. What about this? Is our new main event? What happened with him? When is he supposed to be fighting Brock? Well, there's that's the thing. What there's is going no on? specific date for that Brock fight because Brock is still going through the USADA protocol, so he's not even going to be ready until he's early taking next year. Man, so. not for nothing. That's a hell of a chance. Uh, I totally agree. I, I I think that credit to DC for doing it, and credit for Derek Lewis. Why not? Well, but yeah, that's is, a bit. That's a that is a risky fight. Very risky. Does, well, does DC think that Derek Lewis is that easy of a situation? Not easy, but DC is smart as heck. Never did I mention he never lost that heavyweight? Right. Phoenix Carnival. Yes, yes, you have mentioned this. I I, I, sure. I want to make sure the audience knew. I knew you knew. But I, I, the repeat shit. I mean, I, 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 I picked DC any day of the week over this fight. I you know, but we saw Derek Lewis losing and then just throw a big right hand and then, and then take his pants off. Right. Then, yes. And then well, cool that, his that's, balls off. That's and that the was... thing, right? Everybody knows that the way Derek Lewis is going to win a fight is to punch you with his right hand. So if you can negate that, fine, but he somehow wins almost I every mean, fight. DC took that... a shot from Anthony Johnson and he yeah. said that he's <laughs> Like he still thinks about that bunch. It was yeah. I mean, you got to figure DC's wrestling is going to be the difference in that, right? He'll be able to keep well, Derek down. It's what I, what listen. DC has to be thinking in his mind, right? But well, I now that you told me about this matchup, I got three words that come to me. What fun, fun, fun! It is fun. <laughs> I'm I'm happy about it, and it's in your backyard. It is, and I will be there. That's right. I will be. Oh, there, that card has a lot of fun I'm happening. Gonna, I'm I'm look. I cannot wait. There's a lot of fun things For happening on that card. November, what is it, 3rd? November 3rd, yeah. November 3rd. Did I tell you I'm going to Disney again shortly me after too. that? Uh, you me too. You mentioned I don't know what specific Will you be dates, there at the same time as me? When, when are you going to be there? December 10th? Nah, I'm home by then. Okay. But listen. <laughs> Do you think um, Rockhold fighting on that card is also a factor for DC? He figured he probably, you know, Rockhold's training for Weidman for November 3rd. He might as well get in on it. Why there. not? Yeah, yeah probably for sure. Probably I mean, has, because probably has nothing doesn't to do hurt. with it. Doesn't hurt though. Because no, they're all training. Hurt. They're nah, all in right, training right. camp, and one of them's in training camp. Right. That's just how it rocks, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and now, so here, this is unofficial from the UFC. The UFC has not announced this, but it's been all over. Well, but it'll probably media. be up by tomorrow yeah. when we're on. Yeah. Um, okay. ESPN reported late Tuesday night that Dustin Poirier suffered an injury and is out of his fight against Nate Diaz. Right. Um, and then wait. Nick said that Nate's going to wait for Khabib. Yeah, but that that's a follow up answer. So what, yeah, but, but that's so wait, absurd. So what does that so, mean? So uh, the UFC has not announced that that fight is off, but again, Poirier said it and it's it's been out there. Uh, they haven't said whether Nate is going to stay on that card, whether they're, whether they're looking for an opponent. Who knows? That's the, what, uh, wait, that's on which that's card? That's November 3rd. That's yeah. also the November wow. 3rd card. So, well, that card is, is listen, a very nice card. What's life without a little drama? Yeah. Well, I was looking forward to that. But honestly, I'm not shocked that Poirier's hurt because look at the battles that he's been through. Right. His body's just like, ah. Well, as a fighter, let me tell you, man. Me Every ice, day ice you're bag. hustling, <laughs> Phoenix. When's the Matt Sarah album? Every day I hustle. Why, why can't the Matt Sarah album come out? Because it'll be it'll be either shit or just fucking shit. All right, listen. Let's go to what? Uh, no, that's a, that's a fucking. Look well, at that. well, let me ask you this though. So say say Nate stays on the card. Yeah. And I heard so Justin Gaethje posted that he is not going to take it on short notice. That's like the one thing he won't do. He needs to be prepared to fight somebody. Okay. He's just not going to jump in. Okay. 
people are saying Tony Ferguson, which to me doesn't make sense for Tony to take that fight versus waiting for Khabib or whatever. You know, he should wait for that situation. Yeah. Um, well, Connor who, makes sense, right? It, Connor does make sense. <laughs> versus who? Versus Nate. Connor does make sense. If Nate's looking for an opponent, I don't know if he's staying on the card. We're all, we're just speculating about Wait, this. Isn't like, he, is he not? He's not. You don't have any kind of suspension with a tap out like that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. We'd have you to know? see what kind of yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, he, he yeah. Or well, no, but not only that. Um, doesn't he have to deal with? the commissions as Wait, well I, right now. I got something. Yeah. I got something. All right, so Connor's got Connor. some stuff going on. Wait. Put up Connor's thing where he said about he didn't win the fight. He didn't win the battle, but he didn't win the fight, but he won the battle. Yeah, but he won there. the battle. That's Wait. all he said. You got it. I mean, Maybe the battle is that he still got paid. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it when <laughs> yeah, it's not let me up find it. The battle is he still yeah. made money. I don't I don't know. No, well, I don't really know. I, wanna, I just want to see that because I want to know what the hell he's talking about. Yeah, I'll get the specific. What the fuck uh, are you talking about, man? You won the, you lost the battle. You, the war goes on. You're fucking... What? I don't know. He's got to say something cryptic to stay. I don't know. I'll get the exact one. Did he tweet it? Just yeah, I think I it was on a, Instagram. I think it's Instagram. Yeah, he's oh, like, okay. we lost the battle, but we won the war. All right, let's go. No, no, the war goes hard. We lost the fight, we won the battle, but that's why, man. He's like, he's saying that's what it is. He's, he's just tell me that's what it is. That's I mean, from what he was saying, was oh yeah, like, we lost the match, but won the battle. The war goes on. We lost the match, but won the. Why'd you win the battle? What battle did you win? I don't know. Wait, hold on. Did I miss something? I I don't have. <laughs> how an do you answer. win the battle? Why, Let's see. How, I wonder wait, how what? people interpreted that. Let well, the fans wanna, tell us I how they know, interpreted that. I want to know what battle he won right here. What the fuck battle well, did he right, win? Because if you are looking at it just objectively from take out whether anything should have happened after that fight or not, it seemed like Khabib's team kind of took it. You know, like they won that battle if you're going to talk but about But maybe that. he means that he got to Khabib to be out of control and hurt oh, himself maybe, in any maybe, way. Maybe. Financially, professionally, maybe Did he, he not know that they because got think of how of him saying that it's only I, I know that too. But think of how now if Khabib would not have acted out after that, you know, living well would have been so the then, best revenge. So yes. then he won but the match and the he, battle. Then he's took that dude's money away from not took the dude's money personally, but now right, Khabib's, but it ends up costing Khabib something. It's right? costing yeah. Khabib well, a lot of cash. It's a confusing me because they only had a fight, <laughs> and I, I there's not I didn't see a battle. I mean, In a war I don't know battle. What the fuck. They you played lost the match. chess and checkers before. We lost the match, but he we won, he we lost the bat match, but we won the battle. The war goes on. And the Shakespearean. Very interesting. <laughs> I don't understand. Very. All right. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but he, I don't think he's underrated. I think he is fucking a great fighter. He I took think, Khabib's whole purse. No, well, he doesn't get it. it. They didn't get it. So basically what's saying? happening is the uh, Nevada <laughs> State Athletic Commission is withholding Khabib's money right now. Yes. Um, but yeah. Connor doesn't get that. It wouldn't no, no, yeah. Connor doesn't get that. Can I tell you something right now? I don't even think the guy gives a shit, Khabib. You know what's, you know what's badass, though? What? Put the photo? Put oh, the, the eagle listen photo? Listen to me. I don't give a fuck. It's not, listen to me. Is it the right thing to say? No. Am I being a good role model by saying I love this picture? No. I'm being a bad role model. I don't care. I love this fucking picture. I love this fucking... Look at this. Yeah. Wow. And no, especially because his nickname eagle. is I the eagle. I got a fly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a peacock. 